Ishan Mal here and welcome to this uh, little video tutorial about ECME Warrior Remote Start Buggy. Uh, this buggy is available at hobbystore.com and rctoyhouse.com to purchase. Alright, so I have received a little complaint about this buggy and the remote start system. That is, this buggy goes out of control after a few seconds. Now let me tell you the symptoms of that problem. What happens? What happens when you turn the radio on and you turn the receiver on on this buggy? Uh, for, for a few seconds everything is okay, I mean steering and the throttle and everything is working very very good. But after a few seconds you can see the servo is going crazy and then they just like no more control left, nothing. You cannot use steering or throttle, there is no control at all. And if this thing happens when the buggy was started, engine was started, it will simply run out. Uh, last time I ran 200 meter after this buggy. <laughs> Trust me about that one. It was a long run after the buggy. Now there was a very little reason for this thing to happen and it's a very easy fix. As you can see, here is one cable, which actually when you receive the buggy, it's like very, very close to or actually sticking to the heat sink. Now what happens that when you're running the buggy, you are bashing the buggy and sometimes it just flips over, you break this cable. And if you didn't break this cable due to overheating engine, or because you did not tune the engine or somehow engine is overheating this cable will probably melt actually it shouldn't melt but due to the hit or some overheating problems if the cable is melted and the naked wire inside is touching the heat sink or anywhere on the engine that's where the problem begins because this short circuits the whole circuit the whole electronics inside leaving the receiver no power at all and that's why the servo goes strange and your car has no control at all so how do you fix it well the fix is very simple you can probably uh, replace this whole cable okay or simply rep uh, repair the broken part what i would do or i would suggest is put a heat shrink tube on it and uh, shrink it down on this cable with the heat and then it should be okay or put something which is actually heat resistance or simply just like we did we used a longer uh, part or longer area to put the cable onto the glow plug thus the cable is not touching but it's still this way sometimes when the car will flip might be possible this cable will get damaged so this is just a simple problem not a biggie actually if this thing happens you know what to do you first check this cable or you check other cables which are actually here in fact we are working on it in order to get these cables properly covered and put somewhere inside safely i'm sure we will come up with that solution very very soon so if one of these cables are broken one of these cables are short you will have those problems and the buggy will go out of control so now you know the solution and it's a very easy fix all right so this is it for now um, if you're still having problems of course you need to check all these cables even check the cables here inside the receiver and see if they are properly fixed check the cables here if something is broken what happens is sometimes because we just shove the cables inside they just bend and sometimes break and we don't even know that they are broken so make sure you check all these cables right especially these ones and the problem will be resolved it will be fixed thank you very much for watching i hope you will have lots of fun